uh, I think a lot of the work that we do uh, here is trying to bridge the gap between the science and uh, research that we conduct here in the lab um, to real world applications. Uh, we see a lot of uh, papers being published in algorithms and new technologies, um, but they sometimes they lack the, uh, I guess, making sure that that applies to real world environment, right? So if you're deploying the field, uh, would that actually work uh, based on the claims that you made in the paper uh, or the technology and so on? And so this is a lot of the work that we do is getting uh, technologies such as electric vehicles, uh, uh, algorithms, optimization algorithms, uh, batteries, solar systems, uh, and deploying uh, in different segments of the energy sector. It could be uh, commercial places, it could be residential, it could be agriculture, it could be military applications. Um, and so all of these different segments, they have different constraints. They might be, for example, in the agriculture sector, which we do a lot of work over there. It's re really, really harsh conditions, uh, high temperatures, a lot of bugs, uh, animals are just like interacting with the technology and hitting the technology. You don't have a lot of uh, connect, uh, connectivity, like wireless connections and so on. Um, and so irrespective of what you develop uh, here in the lab on the control conditions, what we want to try out is actually making sure that works uh, in real life. So we're moving a little bit from the bubble that we see here uh, in uh, Slack, Stanford, and this ecosystem, and going to really extreme conditions to make sure that uh, the technology that we develop here and that we claim that will help uh, reduce carbon emissions uh, and make the uh, energy systems more sustainable, uh, it it applies not only here, but everywhere uh, else. For me, is uh, finding uh, the trade-offs between different technologies and making sure, again, that works in the, in real world. For real people, uh, regular people, uh, I don't care if you're tech savvy or not, if you have an engineering background, if you're a farmer, uh, whatever spectrum you are, the technology needs to uh, support everyone. Um, because even if you have the best technology you deploy, it doesn't work. If those people that were affected by the technology not working, they won't try it a second time. That's That has been our experience with the farmers. That has been our experience with uh, transportation sector, so fleet operators. That has been our experience with military. So it doesn't matter which segment you are. Um, if your technology doesn't work, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the best technology out there. Um, by your standard, uh, by your standard definition of best technology, right? So for me is making sure that whatever we develop here, it works across the spectrum. Um, and so that's, I think what, uh, I really like, uh, about my work here is making sure that we can bridge this gap, um, of research science to actually real world applications.